So look, I saw Stephen King's name attached to this, and I said, oh, it's a no-brainer. I'm checking this out. But I probably should do a little bit more investigation to truly get the appreciation of this film. But hey, that's not to say it wasn't bad, but I certainly got things to say. So let's jump into my review of the film, Timekeepers of Eternity. what's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the film timekeepers of eternity which made its world premiere this year at fantastic fest 2021 now yeah stephen king if his name is attached to anything i'm going to check it out i need to know what it's about i don't care what it is and that ultimately led me to this film but I had no clue that this film was like a remaster, remix version of a project back in the 90s. So therefore, I was like, oh, okay. And what I meant by in the beginning was that maybe if I seen the, you know, the original version, I probably would appreciate this just a little bit more. But hey, that's not to say that I don't appreciate this. But you know, it's always cool to see something remix, remake, or whatever it may be. Uh, things are getting really cool nowadays with properties being revived. So you just never know. But for me, being exposed to this for the first time, I certainly got a lot to say. And this film, Timekeepers of Eternity, is basically a updated remix of the film slash miniseries that was on television called The Langoliers. Now, if you've seen that, just know that that was a colored version when obviously based on the technology that was available then, it looked a certain way, it sounded a certain way, and it probably was a fantastic film, but this is a new updated remix version of it so the sound quality is better based on the trailer because i haven't seen the movie but the sound quality is better it seems like uh why it still keeps the integrity of the original film but obviously we've we've come a long way with how sounding is done but yes the sounding is better but the big thing here is that now this moves from color to black and white but also this this is this is the part about the film that i like the most the artistry because now it's in this black and white sort of uh, animation, collage style, collage style animation. And it's super cool. Something that I've seen before, but never for an entirety of a film. And even though this film is fairly short, it's still pretty cool to see a film done the entire way. And it also gives you like an extra appreciation to the different things that is happening in the film. Because the film itself has a lot of mystery to it. But considering how some of the, the, the collages is put together and the animation with it, it also adds an extra level of mystery. So it's really cool. And the folks of, get, of putting this together, I mean, I can't even imagine the process of doing this. Like how difficult it must have been. But yet it's so cool. The end result, so cool. So I absolutely tip my hat off to them getting this done because this is unique. It's special and I, I like it. I always like something I'm like, I've never seen that before. So, you know, and and, and for be honest, I'm always gonna think back to this film doing this. So that that's that's what I like about this, you know? Uh, and then when you think about the process here, so basically what they did was they took every frame from the film, they and they and, and uh and then they basically uh took parts of it and reshaped it and then make it a collage and then now in black and white, and then you add some animation to it too. So it's like you had a picture, you chop it all down, you reconstruct it the way you want to construct it, make it black and white, and then add some animation to it. I mean, wow, that's, it's, it's almost to a point where like, you're saying like, well, who would want to put their stuff up for a challenge like that? But hey, it is cool once you see the end result. So again, I just can't imagine a process of them actually doing that. But for the sake of what the movie is, the movie is about um, a plane that is leaving from Boston, heading to LA, and you have these 10 strangers who wakes up and realize that half of the, 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 the plane crew, the pilots, and other members of the, um, other passengers of the plane have disappeared. And they're just like, what the heck is going on? So they have to make an emergency landing all to find out that this is also a problem on, on, on land. But also there's this sound, a distant sound that 
seems to be kind of relevant towards everything that's going on. So you basically have a bunch of people in turmoil trying to figure out what's going on and make, <laughs> I guess, make do with the current uh, state of chaos with everything. So, you know, I'm sure this really held well back in the 90s, but for now, I'm, I wasn't so intrigued with the plot, the story. I, I kind of was like, whatever. But I was intrigued because of the mystery of what was going on by how the animation really complemented things. Like just specific things I remember where things were done so cool that you just, it it took away from the plot and so be it. Cause the animation is so cool. You just kind of wonder how things gonna unravel or like the different styling of what the screen was gonna show like. Because there's like one scene where somebody's head was like slightly cut off so you can hear them talking, but you didn't really see the facial expression. So that's kind of cool. Cause like, it's the mystery of like, well, I wonder what they're really feeling. And you usually can be able to tell by looking at somebody's face, you know? And you, you got you got elements and stuff like that within this film. So that's why I appreciated it. But like, overall, for what the plot was, I, again, I don't think that it really holds up to this day and age to a point of somebody saying like, oh, that's a great plot, you know what I mean? But I will say that this, this film, whether it was the first or it came from after something else, we've seen this theme kind of reimagined a bunch of times over. Like right now you have like the show Manifest where you had a bunch of people on the plane, they disappeared for years. And then when they land, everybody's like, well, where have y'all been? And this is sort of like, you know, sort of around the same lines here of people missing and everybody's trying to figure out, well, what happened to them? And it happens to be that they're both, these both of these things are on planes and there also happens to be something that's causing it and everybody's trying to figure out what it is. So like, it's cool because there is, um, there's a, a, a niche for this, shall I say, and I'm sure there's gonna be people that wanna check this out because of that, because of Stephen King, or if you're just looking for something that's really cool and different, then here you go. I think this is definitely will um, satisfy some people with the visuals alone. But folks, this is Timekeepers of Eternity. Jump in the comments, let me know your thoughts about this film, and as always, stay tuned for more reviews very soon.